Yes, I am straight to the grave, and I can always get greater. And no, I don't want to be a teacher, cause that's not enough paper. Yerp, yerp, yerp. Welcome back to Cover by Greatness. It's Tater Gray here. If you're new to the channel, please like and subscribe. It's the road to 300 subs. Now, if you read the title of the video and you saw the clip that I posted before this video, well, actually, I don't know if it's going to be before or at the end, but the point is, y'all already know what I'm about to talk about today, okay? So if you don't know, Asian Doll actually went on the Fresh and Fit podcast that is owned by this guy named Myron. And on the show, in a way, he was kind of going off on one of the other women that were on the show as well. So while he was going off on one of the girls trying to enforce his rules about his show or whatever, Asian Doll told him he was mean. Then from there, things actually escalated and he told her that she could leave the show. So eventually she left. So do y'all want my honest opinion on this whole situation? That was a rhetorical question, so I'm going to give it to y'all regardless. But I'm just asking, just to ask type shit. <laughs> so I do not know Myron, but I do have an idea of the type of person he is based off the couple of episodes that I watched of his show. Now, in this whole situation, I feel like he was overreacting to the highest level, bruh. A woman just called you mean. She called you mean, so you want to throw a hissy fit and go off on her? Like, it was never that deep. You know how many women call me mean in my life? And I probably still hit. Like, sometimes joints just be calling you mean to flirt with you. Sorry, babe. This is my past life. I repeat, sorry, babe. This is my past life. So if you're listening to this video, this is my past life. Sorry, y'all. I had to add that disclaimer because my girlfriend would actually kill me. Literally. But back to what I was saying. Myron from the Fresh and Fit podcast got mad because a woman got on his show and called him mean. Really? Like, is that really what we come to in today's society? Like, in 2022, men get upset <laughs> when girls call them mean. Like, I feel Asian Doll with this whole situation. Even Asian Doll was like, really, you mad because I called you mean? Like, that really made you upset? She said something along those lines. I could be misquoting her, but she said something like that. And I really felt it. And now we're at a point where I'm about to go in, okay? So, based on his reaction to Asian Doll, who was a black woman, calling him mean, it made me come to my own conclusion that could be wrong. So I don't want y'all running off with this whole thing as facts. It's just my opinion. But it actually made me think that he hasn't really dated a bunch of black women in his life. I'm just saying because a lot of black women act like Asian doll. And I don't know if he thought like she was being aggressive at all. But from a person that only dates black women, I like every race, but I only date black women. I can tell you that she was not being aggressive at all. She was just calling him mean. He could have easily just laughed at it and then moved on to the next subject and got to know her. But he just wanted to go off on her for no reason because maybe he felt like she was being aggressive, but she wasn't. She's just a black woman. I, I don't know how to explain it. That's just how some are. Like, she wasn't trying to start anything with him or disrespect him. She was just like, damn, he mean. Like, it's not that deep, bro. And I don't want to make this a race thing or anything, but I wonder if he would have reacted the same way if someone who wasn't black called him mean on the show. Like, what if a woman of another race was like, you're being mean. Like, would he react the same way or just laugh it off knowing that she's calling him mean, but he could still hit? I'm just wondering, like, I don't think Myron from Fresh and Fit is one of those people who react differently to black women. But based on the clip that I saw, these are just the immediate thoughts that came into my head. Hopefully he actually responds to this whole situation in his next podcast or whatever. So we get a better idea of where he was coming from. But now let's take it to the Fresh and Fit podcast as a whole. Now, I can't tell you that I've watched more than 10 episodes, okay? I've only probably watched three to four episodes and most of them had academics on them. Shout out to academics. You actually inspired me to do what I'm doing right now. So I will never bash you. I can't never say nothing bad about you. All right. But the Fresh and Fit podcast, based on the couple of episodes I've watched, I feel like the show is about a bunch of dudes who didn't get women before they were rich and famous. And now that they're like rich and famous, they were so hurt in the past that they want to lash out now that they're up 
and just bash women on every single episode. You just bash a woman. Oh, you a hoe. You a, you that. You got to, oh, you got to be with me because I'm rich. Like, that's the type of show I think it is. And I honestly don't mess with it. I don't even watch dating advice shows like this. Not knocking people that do, but with my mindset as a black man in America, bruh. There's nothing that a man who couldn't get woman before he was rich and famous can tell me about dating, bro. I've actually been through it all. I've actually had a bunch of women like, and I'm broke. So I'm not about to listen to a lane tell me how to get girls and how to treat them. Like, I'm good off that. I'm sorry if I sound cocky. I'm not even a cocky person. I'm just, I don't know. This whole situation just riled me up. But if y'all stayed with me through that whole little rant I just did there, I apologize for it. I'm not a cocky person. I'm just, I just had to tell it how it is. The moral of the story is Asian Dog was not being aggressive when he called Myron mean. He was doing way too much in my opinion. And I honestly think he should clear things up as soon as possible. Well, it don't got to be as soon as possible. Whenever he can, just clear it up so we get a better understanding of where he was coming from. Until then, tell me what y'all think about this whole situation in the comments. Make sure y'all like and subscribe as well. It's Tater Great. I'm getting better at this. I got a blast.